Hi, I'm here with the Tropic Hammocks Paradise Starter. This, this set is a standard. It comes with whoopee slings and frings and tree straps. <clears throat> this is the no knot version where we're going to show you what's included and how to set it up. You don't have to tie a single knot, but you do have to learn a couple things. If you have never worked with soft shackles, then you're going to need to check this out. First of all, we have some tree straps set to the side. Those are two meters long. They have a loop on each end. I'll show you very quickly how to use these. A trunk diameter, if it's a little bit wide, simply wrap this around the trunk. If you can go two times, that's fine. Once for a big tree, that's okay. Take one end, slip it through the loop of the other end, tighten that up against the tree, and now we have the suspension point we can attach the fring and sling to. If the tree trunk diameter is not so great, simply fold the tree strap in half. Take the two ends, <clears throat> and we're going to fit that middle piece right through the two loops. And then we tighten this up along the tree, and then we have our suspension point that we attach the frames and the slings to. Right, we're done with the tree straps for now. Let's set that to the side. And let me introduce to you what these frings and slings are. If, if you've seen the website, you know that they're made of Dyneema SK75 12 strand, and they're three millimeter in diameter. First, let me introduce the fring to you. This is the whoopee sling. This is one end of the hammock that has a whoopee fring built into it. Okay, so let me set this off, wait for the sling. Let me introduce this, the fring to you, okay? This fring is also known as a soft shackle. It's spliced in a way that has a loop, an adjustable brummel on one end. In order to open this, I grab the interior cable and I pinch the exterior sheath and I simply pull out. And this opens up a loop that I can fit the diamond knot from the other end through the loop and then I close or tighten or milk the outside sheath or milk the berry to make it tight. At this point, it will not come undone. We tested this, as you can see on the website, over 1200 kg to break this. And where it breaks is underneath the diamond knot. So if you were to latch this over the second knot, you have even increased insurance that this is not going to be any cause of failure. Now the whoopee sling. And the end of the sling, we have a similar adjustable brummel where you op pinch the inside and slide it out to make a hole. Tighten by using the same method. Now the sling is one long cable and one end goes up, comes back, and is spliced in through the body of the sling itself. So to tighten, I simply grab the tail and pull. And then this will tighten the length or shorten the length that we are using to suspend the hammock. To tighten, I milk that outer sheath or milk the berry in order to tighten it. You'll see on the web that this took over 680 kilograms to break. It's pretty strong. There are two of these on each end. What we're going to do is get this ready for setting up to the trees. I'm going to take the sling, open up the, the bottom brummel, slide that over the fring that's attached to the hammock, and tighten it. Now the sling is attached to the, to the hammock. I'm going to take the top loop of the sling, put the fring through it, and get this ready. So now, I am ready to find my trees. I'm gonna go ahead and tidy this up a little bit so it's easy for me to undo. Put all this back in the bag so I can carry it a little easier. I have my tree straps. Now I'm ready to go look for some trees. We have a tree strap connected to one tree here. 
I have the fring ready. I open up the fring. The fring is already through the end of the sling. You see, the sling is sticking out of the stuff sack. I simply put one end of the fring through the loop of the tree strap, put that over the knot, and tighten it, and I've got one end secured. Now, the trees that I've selected are approximately five meters apart. So I am not going to need the full amount of the sling. Each sling is two meters. The hammock is about three meters, so that puts us at about seven. But we don't need that much. So we're going to make this sling a little tighter. Maybe about half. Use only about half of it for now. I'll tighten this end up. Now I'm going to open the other side. Now I have this other frame. I'm going to open that up now. And now it's ready to connect to the other tree. I'll take this sling out. Take that little bend away. Now let's go to the other tree. Where the other tree strap is already connected. frame open, put it through the tree strap, connect it over the knot, now we're going to tighten that sheath, and we have ourselves a hammock that's set up. Now it's quite low, right? Simply take the tail of the sling, pinch the bottom of the body, and it tightens up. And now I have just raise the hammock. Now I tighten this, the outside sheath. I do the same to the other side. Make sure that it's tight. Quick test. Open this up. Make sure the back is it's got some space. Always take two hands. Grab it on either side of your bum. Seems a little low, but it should work. I'm going to tighten this up a little more. Try again. We have ourselves a hammock in the park. Now I can tidy some things up. Take this tail. I don't need it dragging on the ground. I like things tidy. So I'll just wrap it up. And it can just hang there just fine. The other side I'll do the same. ourselves a hammock in the park. I recommend taking your shoes off and enjoying.